Hi, so let's start the discussion on example project. So now I will be taking one example project and explaining you how you can explain your project. So you can also improvise, but just keep in mind that these are this is a basic demonstration how a person or the interviewee expect you to explain the project. Okay, so let's start. So I have so I have taken a typical embedded project. So first you have to make sure that at least you have these basic things defined for your project. First is the name of the project. The name of the project should be some industry standard names. Like I, here I have taken automotive data logger. So from the name you can estimate, uh, like from the name you can understand that it is for automotive domain and use it, it uses the data logger. Now what technologies does it uses? So I said it uses IoT, C, C++, Python, I2C, UART and SPI. Then what controllers are in, taken in use to, for this project? So I have mentioned NXP and STM. Then tools, tools, which tools are used mainly for debugging purpose. There will be tool for building the project. There will be tool for configuring. There will be tools. So I have taken IR for as a debugger build tools will be there. Then cube ID for configuring the STM and configurator for S NXP. Then one more important part is the source control. So source control means the how your uh, where you are keeping your repository. So for that, I said I, we are using Git. The next part is what is your role in that particular project? So you can explain that you you are in a role of a firmware developer and a proof test engineer. So for myself, I am saying in this data logger project, I was working as a firmware developer and a proof test engineer. Now I have to explain the team size. So I can say that how many people are actually involved in this particular project. So there are seven people. One is the project product owner. One is the scrum master or project manager. We had three developers and two testers for the entire project. So this constitutes a basic layout of our project team. So you, so the person who is interviewing you will get a complete understanding. Okay, this guy is working in a project and this is the dynamics of the team in which he is working and this is how the project is being made. So now the project should have an architecture. So coming to the project architecture means how your project is actually organized. Okay, so it will consist of the hardware architecture, how what all hardware's components are used and also the software architecture, what all software aspects are used in the project. So first of all, you can try to explain that how many MCUs, how they are connected or what all modules are used. For this project, I am simply saying that we have an MCU that is connected to some sensors. Then we have the main MCU, which is connected over the, we can say the child MCU or the slave MCU over UART. And then we have an EPROM IC, which is connected over SPI and a GSM module that is connected over I2C. Very simple. So this is our overall architecture of the project. For the software architecture, we are using VS Code as our code editor, C++ and C as for from development or firmware developer, ARM plus RTOS architecture we are using. Then there are the application is uh, split. So you have also have to mention that, see, there will be, if you are a beginner, then it will be difficult for you to understand this terminology, application, connectivity and hardware layer. But I will try to explain it. So it's like uh, we don't want the application to be very tightly coupled with the controller so tomorrow in the market if i if there is a shortage of stm controller i can go with some other controller like ti or nxp so that our application is made independent of the uh, hardware uh, that is we are using so in a way we differentiate over the hardware layer then on top of that we have a connectivity layer that will connect the application to the hardware and finally the application that will be independent it is pure software there is very minimum connection on the hardware side so in this way our application will be defined now uh, i will explain you all these questions how you have to answer okay so just keep in uh, mind on this part so which part you were involved so this is the very important part so which part you are involved Try to explain where you have the most uh, mostly worked on or where you need know the in and out of it. Okay, they will also ask you about the problems you face. It's all it's not always about what you did, it's also about the problems, what you faced, and how you resolve those problems. Okay. So, first thing is I would say I worked on the child or slave MCU and I was communicating it with the also I was working on the communication part. Okay. So then the next question can come is, okay, tell us about the UART communication. 
when this question come how to handle it this is very important so whenever you are asked about how to about any protocol so first thing you have to do is you have to open a white page or a whiteboard or anything and just start typing like this okay so you are protocol for that i i selected a baud rate then i selected the stop bit and then i selected the uh, uh, data rate or uh, data bit and fourth is the parity so when these all things are clear then you can start a serial communication or a uart communication so now the next thing you can say is that apart from the basic uart we have used the dma so i configure configured the dma for configure the dma for the for both the channels for rx and tx okay very simple try to put everything into the picture by writing it so that the user also gets the feel that this guy has actually done the coding part also okay now you will you can also say configured the interrupt then they can ask another question is the data size fixed you can if you can say yes data is fixed size then you have to mention then you can say that if the data size is fixed then we get interrupt after receiving some let's say some 10 bytes of data or if no then how you are handling the interrupt that is very important so no data is not fixed then mostly in this scenario we do it with like uh, uh, what do you call the idle line so i can say idle line interrupt so this is how you will explain the uart part or any communication part okay now let's take another question so the next question is explain us about the mcu so this can be another major question so in this scenario also you will open the whiteboard or a page and you can just say you can just mention like this mcu so you can mention it's an stm 32 g0 xxxx or whatever is that then you have to mention ram let's say 16 kb of ram is there then you can say the flash is let's say 32 kb of flash then the next thing is you can mention how many how, how what is the speed of that controller let's say you can just say supports 48 megahertz and then last thing is that you can say that what are peripherals it has like why you chose that cpu also will come but for that for purpose you can also say it supports like some i2c uh let's say two i2c then adc is there then uh, uart is there then uh, spi is there then dma support is there so these all things you can uh, write okay finally this will be the uh, question that will be asked and then you also need to mention that why uh, is that specific model of cpu is selected so let's go to another question so then another question come is why is this mcu selected you need to answer this particular question with uh, according to your project requirement okay so you can again open the whiteboard and just say why part is first thing is uh, like uh, only sensors required gpio maybe and uh, you can say we need uart support or you can say we need i2c also or you can say uh, cost effective maybe did um future requirement analysis and also you can say stm as library support 
like this you can mention the why part you it can be more things that you know about your project but yeah of course these this is how you can explain so i am emphasizing on one thing that better than verbal you type out the things so this gives you also a chance to think and type and the uh, interviewer also a chance to understand that this guy actually knows the things okay so let's go to the last few questions so what was the communication between sensors and controllers so let's say uh, i used uh, communication as scan since it is a uh, automotive project so here you again need to start explaining the can protocol so you can say that for can what are the configuration used so i am not going into the detail of it similar to the uart you can mention the specific things that are required to configure a can on both the devices or uh, is a can is a master slave communication so how you configure it you have to mention it or the specifically things that is required in the can communication okay the next question is which flash is used as eprom nand and nor flash so one more thing is that in this project i showed that i have used a eprom so i need to exp i also need to know something apart from my area of work also right that is what i was explaining so why the eprom is used this is also a question that can come so i can say that uh, okay which eprom is used so basically i can explain about the eprom so we can say uh, nan flash ic is used so utilization may be cheap and then uh, only to store data before so we have a gsm transmitter in this project so the purpose of eprom we also need to explain so only to store data when the gsm connectivity is not good data uh, till gsm is bad so this explain the purpose that we have used a cheap ic just to store the data when the gsm is not good uh, or you can later say that uh, main data is stored into cloud so this is what how you can explain the projects okay that you have done and you can uh, explain it in a good manner by writing it down on a white sheet so that the user or the interview has a clear picture of what all things you are involved and how you have done the things okay so that's all for today i hope it clears your idea about how you can approach for the project explanation in an interview so later i will be also covering some important interview questions uh, so uh, subscribe to the channel thank you